Hey there, Wusuit family, it's Ryan. So, we're still in the middle of social distancing, and sometimes it can be a real drag to listen to the news, or to get updates on what's going on, and not seeing anybody, so I thought I would just make a quick video to say, hey, I'm still hanging in there, and here's some of the things that I do to help me feel a little bit better, and to keep myself occupied while I'm stuck indoors. First, it's probably best that I don't think about things in terms of being stuck indoors. Uh, I was seeing some nurses and doctors sharing some stuff online, and I really do like the idea that you're not stuck indoors, but that you're safe at home. And so I try to make sure to keep a perspective about things that, yes, it's bad, uh, but there's a purpose behind why we're doing this, and that we're all in this together, and that we all have to do our part. One of the wonderful things about the internet is that it is flush with content. Even before all this happened, there was far too much for us to go through, but with everyone being indoors, uh, lots of people are putting out lots of content, and so there's lots of cool projects for us to try out with, you know, a little bit of experimentation at home. For instance, I've created a sourdough starter at home to try to make my own bread, and I've actually baked a loaf of bread. I mean, granted, it's not good enough that I would ever sell it in the stores, but it was a loaf of bread that I made all by myself with just a little bit of flour and a little bit of water and a couple of days of work. So yeah, that's a couple of days of work, but it's not like I was really going anywhere. I mean, the great thing about a sourdough bread is it went perfectly with the soup that I made. I made a homemade, from scratch, minestrone soup. Just Jamie Oliver put up a video of like five minutes in length and I'm like, you know what? I've got stuff in my fridge. I could do that as well. I've tried to keep myself active in between taking Gus for walks during the day. I've also been working on the elliptical with Zombies Run and last week I did a 10 mile run. I mean, 10 miles. I am so chafed, but it was awesome. I've tried to stay in touch with friends and so I've started book clubs with friends, which I talked about last time. I did a movie watching party where we watched The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and we've even had a several households jump on a on a phone call together or a video call together to, to catch up and see each other and talk about what's going on. And, well, they ended up talking a lot about Tiger King, um, which is a thing, unfortunately. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I didn't really watch a lot of it because it was super cringy, but... It was something to talk about with all of my friends. I suppose another really important thing that's been going on at home is I've spent more time journaling, writing stuff down, collecting my thoughts, you know, taking anything that's going on up here and kind of putting it on paper just so that it's out there in the world. Um, and also one thing I've been struggling with a little bit but working really hard on is trying to figure out how to work from home, what system works best for me if I'm not just getting up and going to the office every day. And I think I'm starting to come up with some really good strategies that's pushing me along. So I think that's super great. You know, instead of kind of sitting back and being upset that my systems are disrupted, it's time for me to kind of evolve and figure out new systems and figuring out with new constraints, how can I make things work? And that's a lot of what's been going on in my life. It's just, well, we have some new constraints, so how can we make this work? I'm really enjoying the process and I'm having a lot of fun with just having the courage to be able to experiment and try things out and even if it doesn't work well then it's it's still something i mean just throw it up on the gram and it'll always be a fun memory so i hope you're hanging in there as well and certainly by all means let me know in the comments down below what you're experimenting with i'm always looking for new things to try out and occupy my time and I really enjoy when I frustrate my wife because I'm like, hey, look at this bread that I made or hey, taste this soup that I'm trying it. So, you know what, it, as long as it keeps me busy and keeps me out of her hair, I think it'll be the best for both of us. I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're staying healthy and I'll see you in a few weeks time. Don't forget, stay awesome.